Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to a special episode of Angling Spiders. Road trip. Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to a special episode of Angling Spiders. We are fishing this time in Saskatchewan, uh, but before we get to fishing, uh, Kieran's got some updates on some other things. Yeah, so um, I was gonna say that today is the last episode that you can leave a comment for the giveaway. So if you still want a chance to win that, leave a comment down below, ask a question, and yeah, you can have a chance to win that. For this special episode, we are fishing in the East End Reservoir, which is actually a dam of the Frenchman River. Um, we won't be fishing in the reservoir itself. We'll actually be paddling back through into the Frenchman River Channel. Uh, this location has special meaning for us, which is why we're here. Uh, this is where I spent a lot of time fishing with my, my family. It's where Kieran learned to fish. And so uh, it's a great opportunity for us to come back and see if the fishing is still good. Um, we are in a different province. We are uh, located near the town of East End, approximately 550 kilometers southeast of the city of Calgary. And uh, so different set of regulations. Uh, the reason we're here is it's free fishing weekend. And so you don't need to have an out of province license to fish here. Uh, otherwise, because we're now Alberta residents, we'd have to pick up uh, a Canadian resident fishing license. So that makes it nice. Um, our target species today is Northern Pike. Uh, it was stocked with walleye in 2008 and again in 2014, but because they dropped the water level so much, they stop actively managing the walleye population. And so typically they're hard to catch. They're elusive and, and generally when you're out here, you're gonna catch a lot of pike. And, and probably as you can see, uh, there's quite a bit of pike habitat. Uh, this area is located, uh, as I said, at, on the Frenchman River at the east end of the Cypress Hills, which is why the town is named East End. So, um, but we are still surrounded by a beautiful valley it is a great July weekend, and let's hope we catch some fish. Well, that's two I've lost now. I got one. Kieran? Got one? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Is it big? No. It's, it's a walleye though. Walleye? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a surprise. If there's walleye in here. Nice. First fish of the day. Sweet. Nice little pike, little East End pike. Mm -hmm. First fish of the day. What do we call those? Hammer handle. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Get him back in the water. We'll do the release right here. You gotta probably hold them up a bit. Yeah. Well done. Back to it. I got one. I'm assuming it's a pike. Seems a little bit bigger. I haven't seen it yet.
Big walleye. Beauty. Dude. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Chunky. Well, we came to East End to target Pike, and I just caught my biggest walleye of the year. Unbelievable, and not what I would have expected. Fantastic. Whew. Hey everybody, in addition to talking about our gear, a lot of people have been asking us to talk about the lures and the tackle that we use to catch fish. For today, we've mainly been tossing one of these uh, soft baits in the shape of what I think is a perch in yellow and orange. Uh, in addition to that, the weight inside actually looks a little bit like uh, the stomach, so it's transparent and you can get the little silver flash which has been great. Uh, it's got a little bit of a swimming action and this has been effective for both pike and walleye. So we've been tossing it a lot. Uh, we've also been tossing some other lures that I will talk about later. Um, so again, we picked these up at the dollar store. These, a couple of these will be in our prize package. So this is one of the things that we're using in, in terms of gear. We've used this in other episodes. So for any of you that are lucky to pick up one of the prizes, there will be some of these in there. So. Back to the fishing. Kieran, what'd you catch there? <laughs> <smallest pipe. laughs> um, that isn't even a hammer handle. They call those smelts. You can use them as bait. <laughs> Let them go. <laughs> you relaxed enough? Enjoying the summer? <laughs> so, as we said, we came to East End to target Pike. And this area of the Frenchman River is actually where I fished quite a bit with my father and my grandfather. Spent a lot of time in this part of the river um, because my parents and my grandparents both lived in this area. And this is actually the location where we had one of our best fishing days ever. Um, it was exactly right here that I caught my uh, personal best pike. Um, it was 14 and a half pounds. And within the same hour, my father caught an 18 and a half pound pike. And my grandfather caught an 18 pounder. So um, it was pretty amazing. And especially with three generations of fishermen and made the local paper, um, but it was a great memory. So just happy to be back here with my own son sharing the experience. This is a better one. I don't know what it is. It's another big walleye. I think it's bigger than the other one. Holy. Look at that guys, beauty, beautiful walleye, lunker, really nice fish. You know, as I said in one of my other videos guys, sometimes it isn't even just the fishing, it's just the experience. Um, amazing scenery. Beautiful weather, great company with my kid, and we've been lucky enough to catch a few fish as well, so uh, that's what makes memories, that's what makes it a great day, and 
we're just happy to be out here and and to be able to enjoy it so awesome nice a little bit of a nicer one fought better Just watching a couple of turkey vultures swirl above us. So a couple of things, uh, thanks to some suggestions, we do have a foam windscreen on. So hopefully it's cutting down the wind a little bit right at the moment. The other thing is, uh, as you can see in the distance, we're headed back to the boat launch in our vehicle. The water on the reservoir at the moment is too low for boats. Um, but, uh, interestingly enough, one of the great things about a kayak is it can get you through some of these areas that other people can't get through. And so if you look at what we're going through right now, um, no problems at all. And allowed us to get to the back part today, back in the river, to catch some fish where other people can't get back there. So just just a really good example of the versatility of these kayaks End of day one. How come you're not cooking fish over the fire? We yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ate it? Now you are charring marshmallows oh, okay. into cinders. Perfect. <laughs> that is a long ways from perfect. No, no, it's good in my mind. <laughs>